Hello there! Today we're going to add an int screen to our game and also implement some basic logic for the AI to deploy units from the opposite side. So when we ended last time we had added the winning and losing conditions but the game just quit once you either won or lost and there's not much information displayed. So let's work on that today. The first thing we'll want to do is come down here and we're going to create a function for showing the game over screen. So let's do that here. Uh, we'll pass in a flag, uh, which indicates whether the player won or lost. And by default, uh, let's do a false by default, doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're going to do is add a semi transparent surface, kind of as a background. That's equal to the size of our screen. And we're going to set transparency a little bit. So we want a black screen that has a little bit of transparency. All right, we'll put that to our main game screen at 0, 0. Um, so we'll also want to display if the player one will want to display a text that says uh, victory and then if you lose then we'll want to display defeat so uh, we're going to make that function in a little bit uh, let's go ahead and add that here we'll define it shortly All right, so let's do that now. Uh, what should we pass in? We'll obviously want to pass the the text that we want to display. Uh, maybe specify the size, uh, the color, where to display it, and anchor. So that's just if we want to center the text. Uh, Right, here's where we check um, if the anchor is center then we're going to set the center to X and Y um, otherwise we're just going to assume the default is mid top and if you wanted to define more options here you could um, but just to keep things simple we'll just do two options center and mid top all right so now, let's see, I want to pass in the message. Um, as for the size, maybe we'll try something like something bigger because there's only one word. Um, color, let's do yellow. And we'll want to display this in the middle of the screen. So I forgot to do something, which is uh, changing this. Instead of printing, we're going to call show game over screen. And if the player wins, we pass in true flag for one. Uh, also made a typo here. <laughs> display, not display. And now let's run it. So what you're noticing here is that the screen keeps flashing and that's because we have not frozen the screen to display the information. So let's do that now. We're going to add something called listen for key. And this is just going to create a loop to prevent the game from continuing. Try again. It 
There we go. Uh, so the only thing I do not see is the text. Now where is the text? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I forgot to <laughs> split it, that's why. All right, so once we have that going, uh, next, uh, we'll just create a simple AI. Uh, so first let's come up to the new function here and we're going to define a variable so we can keep track of when the AI last deployed a unit. So let's call that enemy last deployment time. Set that to zero for now. Then we'll go into our update here. Um, first let's define now is pg.time.getTicks and we'll say if difference between now and when they last deploy the unit is at least 100 we'll set the last deployment time to now uh, and we're going to deploy unit oops sorry uh, deploy it from the right side which is the enemy side uh, elite sword infantry and we'll deploy it in the enemy selected slot uh, so just for now we're going to make the slot random so the AI will just randomly deploy it in one of the eight slots um, one other thing we want to change is if we go to our events here uh, we used to do press A to deploy on the left so I'm going to change that to space for the player and we'll remove this. Okay, let's try that. All right, so the enemy is deploying units, so I gotta catch up and quickly defend my side. Now I'm just gonna let these guys pass through so we can see the results. Oops. Okay, there we go. So we lost. And now we have an end screen. If we wanted to, we could display more information here. And now I'm going to press Q to quit. And yeah, everything's working. Uh, so you probably noticed one issue, which is now the AI is just spamming units because they don't have any limit and um, the buffer is, is only 100 frames. So in the next part, we're going to add another variable to the game called command. Um, and each time the AI deploys a unit, it uses a certain amount of command points. So that kind of puts some limitations on how quickly, you know, either you or the AI can deploy units.